We're at an interesting point in history where we're seeing massive amounts of payments innovation from fintechs and startups and billion dollar fintech unicorns like Alipay and Paytm from India. So countries that have a less well-developed payments infrastructure often spark more innovation than we do in the more developed markets. In the past decade, China has um, evolved from practically all cash society to in the urban areas now nearly cashless. I mean, it's really amazing. It's a dramatic uh, shift. And they're using mobile apps like Alipay and WeChat to pay for everything. So they don't need cash anymore. There's a lot to think about when you think about the impact of the Chinese economy on the payments ecosystem. So for there's a few examples. Um, Ant Financial is looking at buying MoneyGram. So they would own, I think, the second largest money transmitter in the world. Um, Alipay could, it has its sights on becoming a, a large global brand, the likes of Visa. So they're striking interoperability agreements with local domestic payment brands in each country. Chinese tourists coming to the U.S. can pay for things using their Alipay wallet because they have a relationship with Discover. And then another interesting aspect is one of the largest corridors of sending money is from China to the U.S. You know why? It's paying Chinese students, university students, tuition. So there's a huge connection there as well. At the end of 2016, the uh, Indian government took a shocking step. They called it demonetization, where they, within a period of a few weeks, declared that a certain uh, amount of their currency would be worthless. So everyone was forced to turn their currency in at the bank and get new currency. The purpose of that was to wipe out part of the gray market, eliminate corruption. But another effect it's had is to drive people more towards electronic payments and the use of mobile technology. One of the things that the Indian government has done to foster innovation is the creation of payment banks, which have a different set of regulation than a regular bank that's more appropriate and will foster payments innovation. Another cool example of innovation in India, it's not just for payments, it's for everything, is, the, is biometrics. They've created a national database of biometrics, fingerprints, that can be used to authenticate consumers. It's called the ADHAR system, which is the National Biometric Database. So it would work like Apple Pay with Touch ID, where you would pay for something, and instead of signing for a transaction, you use your fingerprint. So I think that demonstrates where there's a need and not a legacy infrastructure, payment infrastructure holding you back that it makes it easier for innovations like mobile payments to take hold. Thank you.